Then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, the thing about today's sketchbook tour. Now, looking at the sketchbook, yes, it's an Illo sketchbook, but this is bigger. This is a 10 by 10 sketchbook. Now, the Illos you've seen me do before are 8 by 8 So this is an 8 by 8 Illo. I'm just gonna match it up. I filled this thing up all the way, practically. There, I've tried to do back and back pages, and you'll see in a second. But yes, it was a challenge of, for me. This is a really big sketchbook. And I mean, I've done big sketchbooks before, but I've never finished them. And so this was just a huge challenge, especially carrying it around, seeing as my little Illo is so tiny. Okay, so I went to Portland because I got to tour Leica Studios. I have a video up if you haven't seen that yet. And I got to see the Missing Link set. Leica invited me to it. And then on my honeymoon, I went ahead and we visited the Kennedy Space Center because my husband is obsessed with the Kennedy Space Center. All right, so we open it up. And here is page number one. So I got accused for doing the same face syndrome and I was kind of looking to like switch up my style just a little bit, like the bigger eyes, more just pupils as opposed to using like irises and everything, just trying to get different facial expressions in, trying different styles. This is actually really fun because this turned out to be mine and Steven's wedding invitation. And I went ahead and I took a picture with it on my iPad and I digitally colored it. So this really did turn out awesome. I'm very proud of that one. And then of course we got your Dumper, Miss Bunny. And Steven had a really fun challenge for me. He said, why don't you do more of like a 60s color theme like this? Because if you look at 60s color themes from, you know, typical 60s posters, you'll see this color scheme of really flat pastel colors, no shading or minimal shading. All right, on this page, I was just trying, and once again, I'm doing like the same thing that I did on the first page, trying different facial expressions. There's Steven and I, and then I'm reading Pride and Prejudice currently, so I was going ahead and drew Elizabeth. There's a little Ariel, and then different just facial expressions. I have no idea who they are. We got two dudes here, and then I, I, I don't know. They just look like a, some fun little cartoon. And then here it is, my biggest hero in the entire universe, Michael. Scott and all his wonderfulness and I actually digitally colored this on Procreate on my iPad too. I, <laughs> this is the best I've ever drawn Michael Scott. I'd love to try to do it again but goodness I just he is my hero. All right so for this page on this one I was just trying to practice my ruffles and dresses just trying to figure that out. Um, I'm not awesome, I am okay at ruffles, but I'm not awesome at them, and I just wanted to go ahead and practice it. I don't know what I was going up here with the froofy, I have no idea. And then on this side, one of my favorite Instagram artists, The Animated Life, she had the challenge, and I did a video on this actually, and talking about Procreate and if it was worth it. And so, you know, you saw this video, if you saw it earlier, a couple months ago, I went ahead and I drew her mermaid, and then I went ahead and digitally colored it. Nothing on this page because I didn't really want to draw anything on this page. So this is Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse and I did not want to mess up this page at all because I was I just love it so much. I did so much detail. Oh, I think I was sick this day that I drew this and I was like, yep, definitely sick, gonna draw Jake Parker. Once again, I, you'll see this a lot where I did not fill up these pages at all because I did not want to get any pencil marks or anything like swooshing around on top of the designs that I really like because I really like this punzi drawing that I did. So I did not want to do, hurt it at all. So there's Rapunzel. And I never finished this one because I never really liked it and I did not want to, I wanted to come back to it, but I was kind of thinking of like humanizing Sully and Mike and I might try to finish this before I call quits on this sketchbook. 
a unicorn. I saw a unicorn. I thought of the face, like from Mary Poppins, from the first original Mary Poppins. I wanted to do the face of her carousel horse, Jingles. And then I kind of added a little bit more twist to it. Loving how this turned out. I might take a picture with my iPad and digitally color it in. And then I've got Miles and Peter Parker, Tom Holland, Peter Parker, kind of like giving like a bro fist, what's up man? And I kind of like made it say, hey man, I really like your suit. And then Miles going, thanks, I made it myself. Okay, so this day it was, I was sicker than a dog when I was doing my wedding invitations. And I actually failed a, a lot of parts doing my wedding invitations this past time. And I said, look, Jesus, some coffee, because that's what you need. And then there's me crying. Bad day, don't know what day that was. It was before my wedding, most likely. <laughs> and then you see the Rosie, she's so cute and adorable. She looks like a little potato. All right, so I actually drew Quasimodo for the day that Notre Dame um, unfortunately burned down that broke my heart and then I did this picture of Fanny and a lot of people were picking on the name Fanny I'm just like guys it's not supposed to be crude or inappropriate it's just a name and I just gosh everybody was coming at me I'm like really guys but I took every bit of green art supply that I own and I added it to this picture this was for St. Patrick's Day and I used every every little piece of green art onto this little leprechaun drawing and I named her Fanny and I guess that was the biggest mistake I could make in my entire world but I'm so tired of caring <laughs> all right and then I actually did not draw anything on the back of Fanny but I did draw this on, on <laughs> almost said Christmas it's the Irish Christmas like Michael Scott said uh, I didn't really like it so I never finished it so I just left it alone I just wanted to do a little bit more cartoonization to it different kind of faces as you can see Mmm, coffee break. Now this was a lot of fun. I am an art teacher, well I was, as a lot of you have heard me say before, so I wanted to do an example for my class to show them how to color properly and coloring in the right direction as well as, you know, adjusting your pressure onto your colored pencil to make like a lighter shade and then a darker shade to create an optical illusion. So I did this doodle of Alice. Alice is done in Copic markers and then the rest of this is done in colored pencils. So it was just there as an example and I only did like, I finished Alice but I only did like three rows just to show as an example and I recently just finished this. So my parents got two adorable brand new puppies and this is Sunny and this is Rosie. So Rosie looked like a potato when she came in and it's funny because, and I did like a side by side comparison, I wanted to do an overall concept character chart of them. So. You see Sunny has really, really long legs and she looks like a gazelle and then opposed to Rosie who looks like a little short potato. They're both schnauzers, they're both sisters, they came from the same litter, yet Rosie just turned out to be the runt and we had no idea because she's got short little legs and she'll forever have her short little legs. So we have another unfinished sketch here and it's actually just for, for fun because I had something here and I ripped it out. I, for the life of me, I could not tell you what was here I don't even remember but what happened was this was an inside joke between Steven and I about all the animals that we're gonna get when we're married so an alpaca a corgi a cockatoo and a snowzer here we have Jim Halpert and Pam Halpert from the office I just wanted to draw them because I had not drawn them in a really long time and I was just watching The Office. I only watch The Office on Netflix. Everything else is just kind of stupid to me, so I just keep re-watching The Office over and over, or uh, Parks and Rec. So here's these two, and they, uh, it's just amazing how much of a difference, because actually in here, look at, in this illo, here is a Jim and Pam sketch compared to this one. So it's just, it's amazing. Practice, practice, practice. And then here is a couple other cartoons. So this is actually, I did this for Rosie, Jazz, and Sunny because at one point, not anymore, because they're almost as, I mean, Sunny's almost as tall as Jazz, but 
they were this small compared to Jazz. And then here is just a characterization of some drama that went on during my wedding. And they said, what is even going on? Yeah, because there was just, there was a lot of drama and family members poking their faces into places they shouldn't have belonged. And there's little Dumbo, he's so cute. And I actually wanted to do a different kind of thing in this sketchbook instead of going crazy with my Copic markers. I wanted to go in with a lighter kind of coloring with colored pencils. So I miss my colored pencils, but I really wanted to get back to white paper because I do so many tone tan drawings. So that's what I did with this idea. And you'll start to see that carry through. And then for the, I forgot when March, I think it was month of March, uh, the Anime Life started this movie challenge where to draw 80s characters. I have Indiana Jones here, and this is where I start to like fill it up more and more. Indiana Jones, I got Back to the Future, and then we've got Elliot and E.T. And here's Steven and I, so cute, adorable, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got Pongo and Perdita. Now this sketchbook has a theme that you'll start to see a theme. You'll see the light colored pencil sketching, coloring, and minimal shading just because I wanted to look, you know, aesthetically pleasing and not exactly crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna add every single shadow everywhere. But it also had um, Disney weddings. So I wanted to do my favorite Disney weddings because I mean, I was getting married. So you see me and Steven here, Pongo and Perdita, and then see nothing on this side. So we've got Giselle from the movie Enchanted. And then here is Tiana and Naveen. You can see that theme once again of the light colored pencils sketching and shading. Nothing too crazy. And here's some more 80s. More 80s drawings. So we've got Ghostbusters here. And then we've got the Goonies here. Chunk. And then the Breakfast Club, and I never finished this one. We have Ariel hugging Trident, and I just wanted to show different versions of the Disney brides. I mean, they all are with their princes, but I really wanted to do Trident and Ariel just because of a daughter and father's connection on the day of her wedding. It's just, <laughs> I was a crying mess on my, my daddy daughter dance. Now this is fun because I actually, here is just a little sketch of Cinderella here with the fairy godmother because my overall wedding theme, if you guys watch that one video, was happily ever after Disney. So it was Disney themed and so, but the one princess I was channeling the most was Cinderella for my overall look and every, and just everything practically. And I actually had it, I wanted to have a photo opportunity at my wedding. So this is what happens as a scenic painter to make things easier if you do something more into detail. I sketch it out first. So this is from one of the original concept sketches and art from the movie Cinderella. So I sketched it out and then I went ahead and I traced on top of it with a clear piece of paper and a fine tip Sharpie. And then I went and put it up on the overhead where these two that you see measured out are four by eight pieces of foam core that I went ahead and I took a piece of charcoal and I actually sketched it out onto my foam core so that way I could paint it and that way it turned into an eight by eight foot, eight foot wide, eight foot tall backdrop to put at my wedding for people to take pictures by. So you guys, if you haven't seen this video yet, it's very interesting. I compared Artist Loft alcohol-based markers from Michael's to Master's Touch alcohol-based markers from Hobby Lobby. And here are the two characters that I sketched out. They're from Simplicity magazines or whatever, the covers. You'll start to see this throughout my sketchbook. The only downfall to the Hobby Lobby Master's Touch alcohol-based markers is their yellows. And you'll start to see it throughout all of my sketchbook because I don't know if it's the heat or if it's just the yellow pigments are too strong. I'm not sure what's going on, but they bleed onto the next page or onto the back of it and onto the next page. So you'll start to see that as a theme through the rest of my sketchbook. 
All right, so this was for Easter. I went ahead and I made like an amazing drawing. It's not amazing. It's actually, I was sketching this during Easter Sunday and I'm not really awesome at hands. I tried to look at some man hands. I'm not the best at hands in general, but I went ahead and I tried to draw Jesus holding an Easter bunny. And I actually went ahead and I titled it um, it's not all just about a bunny because I saw that sign at Hobby Lobby that says it's not just about a bunny and <laughs> Easter's not about a bunny but that's what I wanted to go ahead with this theme and I posted that on Easter so we have another Disney bride Ellie and Carl my all-time favorite from up so yep adorable this is my favorite I really wanted to do a drawing of them kissing and I thought but this is so cute how she's like waving at her family and they're like all crazy and then Carl waves at his family and they're like love that scene and then here is another Disney bride we have Rapunzel Punzi with her short brown hair I love 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 I wish I could have I should have done Rapunzel as my overall inspiration when it came to my wedding but I just I love Cinderella 3 and you'll see I'll explain that later on when Cinderella you actually get to see more of Cinderella's wedding but yes I'll say I'll, well, you'll see Cinderella from Cinderella 3 eventually and that's what I wanted to go for here we have the beginning of a mermaid so what I started to do with this theme here I started to use only master's touch alcohol based markers from Hobby Lobby for mermaid because a lot of people were actually saying, hey, um, do masters touch alcohol-based markers? Do they fray? And I was like, I have no idea. So I went ahead and I started the theme of only using masters touch. So we have a pink and a purple mermaid. Here we have me. <laughs> no, I wish I was this skinny, <laughs> but no. So for here, I was only using the masters touch uh, purples for this one and I actually use like a C uh, not C3 a W3 Copic marker just to give myself a little bit of a skin tone um, this was like the first sketch I had done in a week since my wedding at yeah it's about about a week and we were actually on our honeymoon and we had a wonderful cute little cabin and I had a great patio and I went out and I actually drew sketch this out and I went in and colored her in and I was like this is me. I just got done being all fancy pantsy, but this is how my hair was done. And this is like, I wore my veil the entire reception and ceremony. This is what my, my flowers looked like. I did not wear a bikini sell sh seashell bra on my wedding, no. But you know, I got the flurry flouncy skirts here. Yeah, I did. So these are really fun because I actually did these in a moving vehicle because my husband refused to let me drive. So we went down the interstate and I actually just only used a purple Bic ballpoint pen. Pretty simple. This is it. And I drew out these little mermaids here and here. We got one with the sea turtle and the dolphin and she looked like she splashed, she splashed down. And then we got a little crab in the corner here. About this I totally don't care about the space shuttle missions. <laughs> okay, you're not explaining no, no, no. this. Okay, go back. No, Actually, what you're not explaining was We this. went to the Kennedy Space Center and I'm a space nut. I'm even wearing a Sp Kennedy Space Center shirt right now. And she's like, I'm gonna draw a space mermaid, which I was like, okay, sweetie, you do you. And then she came out with this. And I'm crazy about this because what she does with textures is what makes drawings like this that would otherwise be just downright weird be amazing. Here are all my swatches. I kept going back and grabbing more and more Master Touch alcohol-based markers. So we have here, fire and ice and that's because I went and bought this Hobby Lobby and then here we go if you can see the yellows bled on to this one it bleeds it bleeds yellows or oranges bleed so bad shouldn't their hands be melting no or smoking at least all right see there it is right there you yep. can see it Yep. The melting. That's melting. Yep. So I did this doodle of this cute little you know, mommy and daughter for Mother's Day. And I thought it was adorable. Just so cute. And I'm always only using, once again, um, just the colors. The 
purple and pink. So it did not bleed onto this one. Actually, just a, just a thought. I did this drawing before this one. So you can't say that, oh, she went in and she just added on top of this one. Then we have this pink mermaid with the little seagull. I have that problem with my hair a lot. <laughs> and then we has just, I wanted to actually just draw or I try didn't know to you draw. I did this one. You How didn't did I know? Miss this? Oh my it's, gosh. It's amazing. I tried to do the texture of the water reflections. I've never d tried to draw. You didn't try, you succeeded. I thought this was cute. It's like the moment I met you. Oh. I think she's talking and he's so in love he doesn't actually hear a word she's saying. Probably. And then you see this actually, I think it might be the oranges that are bleeding through. Whatever it is, it's something fishy. It's something. <laughs> So I drew this mermaid, pink and orange. Wanted to do that cr kind of crazy neon colored. And I think the oranges might be the problem. And see, so here's my puppy doll. That is about three times happier than I have ever seen Jazz at any point in her life. This is accurate to their new puppy, Rosie. Rosie. And as long as you make the brows on Sunny uh, a lot more furrowed, kind of like she hates the world, yep. it's 100% accurate. I feel it's a like duck! Yeah, I feel like it's the oranges. Yep, it might be the oranges because you see blood through there. But I got the yellows finally of the Master's Touch and I wanted to do an overall, here's the swatches. And then I drew a yellow sunshine mermaid and this ducky like, hey! This duck is one of my favorite things in the entire art book. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, who's that? Me. You? Is you sexy? Yes. I thought so. I thought he was pretty sexy. So I didn't make him, I made him a merman, but I wanted to give him more masculine touch or he wouldn't be a huge fan of it. So. I feel like I have really big hips in this picture. No, you don't. It's just, it's just, it's just like the, where the shark head should be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I only did just a simple, I just wanted to do a different shading technique or I came in with my Prismacolor Call Erase and then came in and shaded with a regular pencil. And then here's more doodles. So this was, I finally decided that this was gonna be me. And I wanted to be like a cotton candy mermaid. And I wanted this crazy blue hair that kind of had an ombre with pink and just Crazy. And then, where did I draw these, Steven? On a plane? No, seriously? In a train. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Taylor and Michael's wedding. We went to our friend. It was actually Michael was in our wedding on Steven's side. And so we went to his wedding and we were a bit hungry. I was so hungry. I didn't remember you drew these pictures. Wow. That's impressive. They had great biscuits and gravy. Yup, it was a breakfast buffet. Every wedding should have a breakfast buffet. And then this was the animated life. She created a challenge to draw, her, the, you know, draw this, draw this in your style of a dark mermaid. So I drew this dark mermaid. Kind of reminds me of like a really evil Elsa, but I tried not to make it too much like Elsa. And then Bruno, her pet shark. So somebody said to draw. Seals. The hippos over the sea. They're the doggies of the sea. This one's so cute. So I wanted to draw a family of seals with a mermaid. And moving on, so here's another Disney bride and it's Miss Jasmine from Aladdin. And then here's a doodle of Aladdin and Jasmine. Fellas, never tell your wife, girlfriend, or female friend that you think Jasmine is your favorite Disney princess, it will get you into trouble. Shh. Oh, so in this one, I wanted to just do a pastel looking mermaid. Then she just ended up looking like fruity pebbles. So, or the Lucky Charms marshmallows. And so I drew her first by herself. And then Tom, Brancroft, Brancroft, I forgot how to spell, say his last name, whatever. The guy who created Mermaid, he actually had a prompt list for the whole month of Mermaid and he said today is a unicorn day. Like, what is that thing's name? Creature from the Black Creature Lagoon. from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> and I did a whole swatch right here. And a fun fact screens. that is in no way related to this drawing is that <laughs> we got to see the actual spot on our honeymoon where they shot the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Look it up on the internet, kids. Pretty cool. 
This is kind of racy. It's not racy. It's not racy. It looks like I'm making out with a mermaid. It's not you. That's me. That's you? Yes, I said I I'm the cotton the one... candy mermaid. You never said you were the cotton candy mermaid. I did mermaid. say I was the cotton when candy mermaid. When did you say mermaid. you were the cotton candy mermaid? I did. I said, I said this was me. What? Here. When? When? I said this was me. I said I wanted to be a cotton candy mermaid. I don't remember you saying that. Yes, I am. Yeah, I said that. That's us. Oh. Well, I assumed the cotton candy mermaid was a... It's me! ...other creation. Well, of course that's us. Um, this was the last mermaid post, and I wanted to overall do a review on the master markers. So, master's touch markers, I mean. So this is her, the original sketch. And I made her a final product. So do you remember this at all? Are you making fun of me? No. Do, do you remember this? Do you remember why I did this? No. No? Uh, no. You don't remember? No. It was your birthday and I wanted to play Pictionary for you to tell you what I got you for your birthday oh, because it didn't come yeah. in the mail in time. I bought him a Space Mountain shirt from Disney World. And then here is the new Aladdin and Jasmine. I kind of wanted to draw, sketch him out, and then take a picture with my iPad, but I don't like the way I drew his pants. <laughs> And I don't like how small I made her. So, you know, just try and do it. It looks great. Just Thank imagine you. that he pooped his pants. And then here is the final picture. Is that what you did whenever I was like, hey, you need to draw something 60s style and make the colors all flat? Nope. Because that's what it looks like. Nope. And it looks amazing. Thank you. This is a scene from Cinderella 3, and that's why I just really, that was my favorite. I hated the second Cinderella, but Cinderella 3 was by far the best. So that's just kind of how, that was just the most enchanted I felt, and that's, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna be Cinderella for my wedding. So. And, and I wore that jacket on the day we got married. You totally did. <laughs> I'm lying, no, you're Yes, you are. And then in the back, we've got Steven's drawings here, and I was using a I lot of the Batman drawing. right there was pretty good. It's a big-headed Batman. And then we've got some doodles back there. One of my students actually drew me. That's pretty cool. And then I don't, I don't really know what this is from. Well, if you need more. Oh, time it's from the upgrade, Kennedy Center. You can get an annual pass today. That, and then her as Coraline because when I went to Leica, I never got to take a picture of that. But yeah. Hey, I'm about to go to Portland. Well, then you can take this to Leica Studios. You come with me. We can go back to Leica. There we go. There's my sketchbook. The biggest sketchbook I have ever finished. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Don't put that in. Oh, Don't put that in. wow. There is a space. We love <laughs> all of you. you. We need all of our subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe you're button. You're talking so much. Okay. You're talking so much. Well, you're talking a I guess lot. you can get away with it, though, because it's your channel. Yes. You need to finish it. The battery's going to die and it's going to corrupt the file. Press all stop. right. Stop Bye, recording. guys. Bye, guys.